welcome back to the snow and ice, only this time I find myself in Sweden with Alfa Romeo and Bosch and I'm having the privilege of driving the brand new Stelvio and also the Giulia. We're gonna get a chance to drift around and slide these cars at the Bosch test facility. So without further ado, let's hop in the Giulia and see what's what. Talking. Welcome to. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure you can guess what I'm in. <laughs> Welcome to the Giulia Quadrifoglio, and what a beautiful piece of machinery it is. Now, let me begin with a little bit of detail, and the first words that I'm going to say to you are carbon fiber prop shaft. And yes, this has one. Very, very cool. Typically, this is the kind of equipment that is reserved for race cars in order to reduce weight and wow this is so much fun <laughs> sorry yes carbon fiber prop shaft and here we are this is it 510 italian brake horsepower engine developed in conjunction with ferrari so needless to say fabuloso we also have a manual gearbox now i'm a big fan of the manual even though currently I don't own one I am crying out for one it's just such an engaging experience it's one of those things that it's just inherently man and machine as one <laughs> and you can drift this th honestly you just gotta look sideways ah! <laughs> so I'd love to comment about what this car is like dynamically but we are on sheet ice and when I say sheet ice I, I actually mean for like frozen lakes you can tell a lot about a chassis when it's doing that <laughs> wow the idea of today then predominantly has been to go on a sort of countryside safari in the new Stelvio and we're gonna drive that very shortly after this but I can already tell you from my brief encounter of that car and its amazing traction control system, this is the direct opposite of that. It is highly playful. As you can tell, the smile is real. If you're a regular viewer, you'll know that my motto with any car really is if it puts a smile on your face, you're winning. <laughs> and this one, from start to finish, is just a magic experience. Now I'm at the side window. <laughs> yes. Wow. Now, unfortunately, I haven't had a, the opportunity to drive this car on hot, sticky asphalt yet. But just judging by the way this thing is so well balanced going sideways on ice, I could imagine it's it is so much fun when you've got some sticky tires, you're up in the Alps. Now, of course, the car that I'm driving, <laughs> slash sliding, <laughs> is the manual version, but you can get it in auto and you can shift with paddles. My experience of the Stelvio with paddles is very crisp indeed, but I would imagine mated to this 510 brake Ferrari developed engine and it was what absolutely lit sideways here on the lock stops <laughs> it is magical so yes subjective I can't be full of glee and joy I can be and right now on the smiles per gallon ratio 99.5 <laughs> Back to the Stelvio!
Okay, we have arrived at the Bosch facility where it's now my turn to take out the Stelvio in the safe confines of this drifting playground. Let's jump in one of these bad boys and hit it. Okay, so welcome to the brand new Alfa Romeo Stelvio. Now in complete contrast to, I say complete contrast, this thing's stepping out. <laughs> but immediately the ESP is kicking in and this is where these two comparisons are brilliant. Back to my original point, in complete contrast to the Julia, this is, well, first of all, fully automatic. You can see here, big, really big paddle shifters here next to the wheel. But also, we are experiencing the Alpha Q4 four-wheel drive system. And now, amazingly, in order to keep weight down, Alpha have still fitted the Stelvio with a carbon fiber prop shaft, which I think is awesome. Uh, of course, SUVs, bigger, heavier car. It's still based on the Julia platform, but there is a bit more luxury in here in terms of big, comfy seats. We, of course, have a four-wheel drive system, which adds a bit more weight. But surprisingly, and I suppose in the ethos of an SUV, sports utility vehicle, the drivetrain on this does split the power between the rear and front wheels, depending on how much traction you do or don't have. Hence why earlier on my first right-hand corner there, the back end did come round because the majority of the time, the Stelvio is actually sending most of the power to the rear wheels, which means you can actually have a degree of fun in this car, which is like this. <laughs> which for an SUV, oh, is awesome. However, the ESP in massive contrast to what the Quadrofilio was all about is, well, quite frankly, saving my ass on every corner. And it's great because, let's face it, most of the time in this car, you're gonna be doing the shopping, running the kids to school, and just taking out your mates. It's not as much fun, obviously, as the Julia earlier, where you only had to look out of the uh, side window and you would be going sideways instantly. But that's not the point in this car. The ethos is to get you from A to B in comfort and safety. And I am just, I am driving on a, a blend of sheer sheet ice and snow. And it's pretty effortless, really. If you plant your, if I drop a cog now into third, it does, it does step out, but it's pretty quick to snap you back around again. So you don't step out on yourself too much. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, so right now my foot is flat, flat in third and mild oversteer, but it keeps you in check and it's great. But other than that, I mean, I spent some time on the road in it to get here to the uh, Bosch facility and it's beautiful, really smooth gearbox through these paddle shifters here. You can put it in full auto and chill and the interior quality as well, great. So yeah, all in all, I can't pass a huge amount of judgment on the driving dynamics on tarmac, but from an overall experience of being in this car, <laughs> and still being able to have some fun with it. I'm coming out with a smile. So, two thumbs up. Okay, that is it for my time on the snow and ice. Massive thanks to both Alfa Romeo and Bosch for inviting me out to the test facility and giving me access to both of these cars. Quadrofilio on ice, massive smile, inducing experience, so much fun start to finish. And in contrast to that, the ESP system on the Stelvio is very impressive indeed. You can have your foot flat on snow and ice and it gently guides you around and it's effortless. I'm just really looking forward now to trying both of these cars on some tarmac somewhere awesome. Until next time guys, thanks for watching. Ciao.